Susan McCullough, and this is my French horn. The French horn is made of brass, and it's a member of the brass family. To get a sound on the French horn, I have to buzz my lips. This creates a vibration that you need to make any sound. The vibration we create with our lips is a buzz. If we do that into the mouthpiece, it sounds like this. And then if I put my mouthpiece into my French horn, it sounds like this. As you can see, my French horn is made up of a lot of pipes that wind around into a big circle. And then the air goes through here as I buzz my lips, goes through all of these pipes and comes out here at the bell. The bell is used to amplify the sound or make it louder for my French horn. The very early French horns years and years ago were used as hunting instruments. And you might have heard a French horn play something like the call that I played at the beginning. It might have sounded quite a bit like that or something similar to that. I have also with me today a garden hose that's about the same length as my French horn would be if we could imagine that we could stretch all these pipes out. It would be about 16 feet long if we could stretch the pipes out. So my garden hose is 16 feet long. At the end of my garden hose, I've put a metal funnel to, of course, act as an amplifier or make the sound louder. So if I buzz my lips into this tubing, I should be able to get a sound. Let's try it. So if you have a piece of tubing laying around, you could make your own instrument. It can be um, rubber or it could be plastic. You could get something at the hardware store and any length of tubing and put a funnel on the end to amplify or make the sound louder and you'll be able to get a sound. It can be any length at all because the length just affects whether it goes high or low. The shorter the length, the higher the sound and the longer the length, the lower the sound. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about the French horn today. Bye-bye.